This is the how-to for our dossier on how to export and how to share your class rosters from teacher to teacher. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's first, first talk about exporting. I mentioned before in the attendance tab when if you have a guest teacher, it's a great tool to have so that you can give a guest teacher your classes because it gives the pictures, it gets faces, and it has your seating chart with that. So I'm going to go into a different seating chart elementary PE staff. Oh, I apologize. Let's try this one again. Elementary PE staff. Now here I have a seating chart all set up, ladies and gentlemen, with pictures and everything. So what I'm going to do is I want to export this seating chart out so that my guest teacher can have this. So how am I going to export it out? Well, I'm going to put it in my Dropbox. Again, APS, we use Dropbox all the time to put information, share information, and import information. So when I'm in my seating chart, ladies and gentlemen, top right-hand corner, I'm looking at that sprocket. Next to it, I'm looking at the button with the square and the arrow pointing up. That's how I export and share. So I click that button there, and it gives me options. Export all plan, export current view. I'm going to export the current view. It is up to you whether or not you have the background. If you're printing in color because you got the faces, then you're also going to print the background color as well. So I recommend clicking that off and then again pressing the box with the arrow pointing up to export it out. It's going to ask you where do you want it? I am going to open it in Dropbox. And then I select the folder I want to put it in. So uh, me, I have a classes folder. So I'm going to put it in my classes and I'm going to press save. And it saves it as a PDF into my Dropbox. And it's all done. So when I click on it, it gives me a preview of the PDF of my class roster. Hold on a minute as it's thinking. Well, I promise it is there when it's done. Um, it's just thinking at the moment. It takes a second because I just got done doing it. And here we go. It's coming up. Here is my class roster. Now, I have mine turned sideways, so it's going to be a little hard to see. I normally have a vertical view, so I recommend whatever your view is, and that's how you do it. So when you do it in there. So that is your class roster. Now, what if I want to share my classes with another teacher? So say I'm the PE teacher and my music teacher is using the iDossio app as well. Well, if I've already created the rosters and I want to share the rosters, there's a couple extra steps you have to do. So I have my roster. I'm coming in this form here. I've got all my rosters set up. I'm going to click my button top right hand corner to export. Now I don't want to export it as a PDF. I don't want to export it as an XLS. That is a spreadsheet or a CSV or a report. Report. I want to share. When I share it, I, my music teacher can take it and put it directly into her iPad and she has it there. She's not going to take everything because here once I press share it gives me all the options do I want to include all tabs do I want to include select tabs do I include no tabs I don't want to include include any tabs at all now if I was doing attendance and effort and we we're all doing it as a team I can include those tabs as well also next part down do I include students and grades do I include students do I not include students I want to include the students that's the whole purpose of that if I do grades well I'm also going to get the information in these columns here so like for my elementary PE staff school phone number email it would do that as well so I don't want to do student students grades I just want to include students that's it so I click on that do I include seating plan nope because she's gonna do her own thing include annotations nope include resources nope and so include bulletin board nope so all I'm doing is do not include tabs because I just want to share the roster but I do need to include the students so I'm top right hand corner again to export it is going to say, ooh, I'm sharing sensitive data information, so pictures and names. Oh, by the way, when I share a class roster, if I've already taken pictures, it will also share the pictures. Great to tool to use. So say you have classes and then your music teacher has other classes. If you each do rosters for that day and take all the pictures and share those pictures and rosters with them, then they're ready to go. They don't have to do all the work. You do already have to work. Now, so I have to type in a password. So I do a numeric password. Just for now, I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Repeat the password. One, two, three, four. 
press OK. Now I'm going to share it. So I'm going to email it to a friend of mine, or I can open it in Dropbox either way. Since I'm using Music Teacher, I'm going to email it. Mr. Chapel, you get a shout out right now, so you're going to get this. I'm going to email it to you. So it shows up in my elementary staff, the subject elementary staff. I'm going to type in Mr. Chapel's name. I'm going to send it to him. In my heading, I'm going to say password. One, two, three, four. Oops, three, four. And then I'll press send. Now, just so he knows that this is a test, I'm going to write it here. And then I send it off. And now he has this roster without all the other information. So he won't have school, phone, email. He'll just have the pictures and the names of the students. <clears throat> a great reason why uh, the Adasio app is another great tool to use because you do it once and you can share with the other teachers, the other special teachers, if you're a special teacher like myself, a PE teacher, and doing this. So again, here is how to export and how to share information from your Adasio app to other teachers.